good morning students welcome to chemistry class in previous class we learned classification of matters atomic and molecular mass with the use of these concepts today we are going to work out some problems under that concept let's see the evaluate yourself one by applying the knowledge of chemical classification classify the each of the following into elements compounds or mixtures before classify the followings let's recall our ideas about element compound and mixture element A element is the substance that contains two or more same kind of atoms. For example, if it is copper wire, that wire is made up of copper atoms only. Here there is no mixed of any other atom. So which substance is made up of? two or more same kind of atoms is known as element next compound a substance that contains two or more elements which cannot be separated by physical process so combination of same kind of atoms or elements combination of more elements are called compound next mixture a substance that contains two or more compounds that can be separated by physical process is known as mixture so mixture is a combination of two or more compounds combination of atoms are known as elements combination of elements are known as compound combination of compounds are known as mixture here compound cannot be separated by physical process but mixture can be separated by physical process let's evaluate the first question from the given data copper wire and silver plates are elements because copper wire is fully made up of only copper atom and silver plate also fully made up of only silver atom so which is made up of which substance is made up of same kind of atoms are known as elements that's way we classified copper wire and silver plate are elements next sugar distilled water carbon dioxide table salt naphthalene balls are compounds because they are made up of more than two elements for example in this distilled water is made up of hydrogen and oxygen so here two elements are mixed together and form water that's way we classify these are compounds next sea water is a mixture because in sea water so many salts and dust particles are mixed we can separate the dust particle from the sea water by filtering or sedimentation and then the mixture of salts also can be separated by some chemical or physical process so sea water is a mixture because that components of sea water can be separated let's see evaluate yourself to in evaluate yourself to they asked us to find molar mass of some compounds 
Before find the molar mass, we have to recall our concept, what is molar mass? Molar mass is where sum of the atomic masses of atoms present in the compound. Let's see the first compound, ethanol. Ethanol molecular formula is C2H5OH. First, we have to know what are the types of atoms present in ethanol. What are they? Carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. Then we have to recall uh, what is the atomic masses of that particular atoms. Carbon atomic mass 12. Hydrogen atomic mass 1. Oxygen atomic mass 16. With the use of this, now we are going to find the molar mass of ethanol. How much carbons are there? 2 carbons. So, 2 into carbon atomic mass 12. Plus, how much hydrogens are there? 5 hydrogen. So, 5 into its atomic mass 1. Plus, how much oxygen are there? 1. So, 1 into oxygen atomic mass 16. Then, last one, hydrogen. So, hydrogen, how much is there? 1. 1 into its atomic mass 1. If we simplify all, we get answer as 46 gram. So, molecular mass of ethanol is 46 gram. Next compound is potassium permanganate. Molecular formula of potassium permanganate is KMnO4. So, types of atoms are KMnO. K atomic mass 39, MN 54 and oxygen 16. Let's calculate the molar mass of potassium permanganate. So, 1 potassium, so 39 plus 1 MN, so 54 plus 4 oxygen, so 4 into 16. If we simplify this all, we get 158 gram. So, potassium permanganate molar mass is 158 gram. Next, potassium dichromate. Potassium dichromate molecular formula K2Cr2O7. Next compound is sucrose. Sucrose molecular formula C12H22O11. Try to find the answer for these two compounds with the help of the tablet column given. Next, evaluate yourself 3. In this, two problems are given. Let's see one by one. First one, calculate the number of moles present in 9 gram of ethane. In this sum, the given data is 9 gram of ethane, that is ethane is present in gram, but they ask us to find in mole, so we have to convert the gram into mole. Before convert that, we have to find the molar mass of ethane. So ethane, what is that uh, molecular formula C2H6? Molecular formula of ethane is C2H6. Now we are going to find the molar mass. So 2 into 12 plus 6 into 1.008. It's By simplifying this, we get the molar mass of ethane is 30.048 gram. To find the number of moles formula is given mass divided by molar mass. Given mass is 9 gram. Molar mass what we find that is 30.048. Dividing this we will get answer 0 
0.299 that is equal to 0.3 moles next second sum calculate the number of molecules of oxygen gas that occupies a volume of 224 ml at 273 kelvin and 380 m pressure from the problem first we have to write the given data the given data are volume is equal to 224 ml temperature 273 kelvin pressure 380 m before find the number of molecules we have to find the number of atoms for that formula is pv equal to nrt let us apply the values in that formula p value is 3 and volume 224 so 3 into 224 is equal to n we don't know so n into temperature is 273 and then r value is constant that is 8.81 if we multiply 3 into 224 we get 672 and in right hand side we are going to multiply the r value and temperature so finally we got 2268.63 to find the n value we are going to divide that 2268.63 by 672 we get answer as 0 0.299 moles therefore the number of oxygen molecules is equal to n into 6.022 into 10 power 23 is equal to 1.8005 into 10 power 23 molecules let's recall today's class today we have learned some problems based on that important terms element a substance which has two or more same kind of atoms are known as elements compound a substance that contains two or more elements which cannot be separated by physical process is known as compound a substance that contains two or more compounds that can be separated by physical process is known as mixture next molar mass some of the atomic masses of atoms present in the compound is known as molar mass